everyone, it's Alice. In this video, I'd like to share the process of making my VTuber mic asset. This video has been a long time coming, but I never got around to it until now. So without further ado, let's begin. You may have seen the beautiful mic assets that a lot of VTubers have. They can be static images, but the fancier ones are animated and react to the volume of your voice. So I got interested and wanted one for myself. The design part was pretty easy for me because I already had a clear idea of what I want the mic to look like. Basically, lots of ribbons. <laughs> I didn't want a round mic because I thought those looked really boring. I also wanted a little chibi keychain of myself hanging on the mic, though you can't really see it clearly on the sketch. Throughout the lineup process, I changed some things and decided on the colors. The main color is blue and the secondary color is yellow. I make sure the colors match those I use in my logo for consistency's sake. I also ended up giving the mic a fancy crystalline look. This is also where I prepped the art for rigging and separated it in two parts. And now this is the finished mic. I really, really like how it turned out. After this, it's time to rig it in live 2D. This is the PSD file that I use for rigging. I deleted similar and mirrored parts, which I plan to duplicate in Live 2D. It makes rigging faster and also saves texture space. I refer to the original art when copying the missing parts so things don't look out of place. I also have extra parts that I imported later on, which aren't present in the model at first. You can delete all the original parameters. You don't need them. You just need to make parameters of the things that you want to animate. A mic asset isn't like a full body live 2D model and there's not much to animate. In my case, I have the pose swaying, the keychain swinging left to right, the ribbon on the mic moving, and the charms sway very subtly. All these movements are very small, not much but just nice. Then I have what I call the shinies. So here, I imported a rectangular yellow bar which I then duplicated and clipped to the items that I want to shine. I put the bar on additive mode, adjusted the opacity, and created a parameter where I move the bar from one side to the other. It gives the illusion that the item is shining. Super simple, but the effect is great. After that, I opened the animation panel and created a looping animation using the parameters that I have set up in Live 2D. I save it as a motion file and named it Idol. And now, the most important thing of all, the soundbar. Originally, I have no idea how to do this, but a kind soul on Twitter linked me to a tutorial video. Thank you so much! I will put the link in the video description below. Here you can see that I have included both my mask and my soundbar. So first, we will work on the soundbar. I am going to put it on additive mode and I am going to give it 70% opacity. Now, as for the mask, we are going to clip our soundbar to the mask. And to do that, we copy the mask ID and then we paste it on the, the soundbar. And we're going to click invert mask. Now, going back to our mask, we are going to set the opacity to 0% and it disappears along with the soundbar. After this, we are going to make it so that the soundbar reacts to our voice. I'm going to create a new parameter and I am going to call it loudness. And I'm going to set the range from 0, 0 and 1, like so. Now, with the mask selected, select the parameter and click on this. We are going to add two keyforms. So this keyform, this one, when it is at zero, it represents our mic, our soundbar when we are not speaking at all. That means we don't want the soundbar to appear because there's no voice coming in. But when we go to one, the last keyform, we want all of the soundbar to appear because it represents our voice volume at its loudest. So, I am going to move the mask accordingly. I want my soundbar to move upwards when I speak. So, I'm going to move my mask like so. All the way up until my soundbar appears. 
make sure you select the parameter while you are doing this. So now, it's as easy as that. As you can see, the mask disappears and the soundbar appears. The mask comes down and the soundbar disappears. It's as easy as that. Now, let's toggle the visibilities of all of our other items to see how it looks like. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, I'm going to export the mic as a mockery file and put it in VTube Studio. I'm also going to include the motion file that I have created earlier on in the same folder. Open VTube Studio and load the mic as a new model. It's not moving at all! How now, brown cow? Not to worry, this is where we bring the idle motion file we saved before. Click the gear icon in the main menu and then click the icon with the person and a smaller gear. Click on idle animation. The idle animation placed in the model folder will be listed here. Select it and voila! The mic moves! And now it's time to set up the voice reactive soundbar. Scroll down and click the plus icon to create a new VTube Studio parameter. We'll name it voice. Click input and select voice volume plus mouth open. Then click output and select loudness, the parameter that we set up when we rigged in Live2D just now. After that's done, click the gear icon and go to microphone settings. Click use microphone and then select the mic that's being used. And it works! Yay! Open up the main menu by double clicking anywhere on the screen. Hover over the green picture icon and click on the star. Select Load Current Model as Live 2D Item. Press OK and then click on Save. This option will pop up. Just click No. And now the mic will appear as an asset. Unload the mic model and close VTube Studio. At this point, I usually go back to the Live 2D Models directory and just delete the mic folder. Then I run VTube Studio again and load the mic just like I would any other asset. And there you have it! That's all for this video. If you are interested in making a mic acid for yourself, I think you should really give it a go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video till the end, and I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye!